Alright guys, so I'm just doing a bit of analysis on my computer and I thought I'd just put the, bring up the recorder and I'm just going to quickly go through all the different uh, sectors. So I'm going to go through the sector indexes and uh, show you what I see. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, so let's have a deep, let's dig deep in all the different sectors uh, out there and let's actually see what's going on. So you've got the uh, basic metals. Basic metals for me, guys, uh, is is actually quite weak overall, isn't it? Um, it's had a, had a little bounce, a little bounce. It's had a little, it's had a little bounce. It's obviously, it's quite weak overall. If you look at this uh, major, this is the weekly chart up the top here. Let me just blow that up for you. Um, so you can see this weekly chart, and you can see by looking at the trend lines, you can see. This whole area through here, this 1,000, basically this 1,000 area, is indeed a major, major, major area of resistance for the basic metals sector. So that's obviously quite weak. Um, you're looking at things like uh, this weekly chart as well too, which is really weak, by the way, really weak. And what's so weak about it? It's very, very simple. If you just looking at again, looking at the highs, you can see how this has just made a this 1000 mark is a one top, two top, three top, and then you can see by a trend line that we've actually broken out of that through there as well too, and we've made this lower trough through there. So to me guys, that's really weak, very weak. I'm expecting a downturn uh, coming soon. Unless we break above the 1000 mark, then I think we could actually get back up to say 1200 or more. But that's what I do see on the basic metals. Let's go down to the consumer the uh, consumer cycles. Let's have a look here. Once again, guys, just looking at the the markets and you can see how this, this market was creating, especially this daily chart. Um, you've got this weekly chart. Weekly chart on the line chart was definitely, definitely making this lower peaks, lower troughs, and it's running into this area of that whole area there, by the way, guys, that whole area where it is right now, the consumer cycle is running up into that whole area around about there. Yeah, so around about that 1700 level is indeed a big area of resistance. You can see this. I know you can't see this. This is the weekly chart, but you can see it. You can see it through, through there. So you can see this lower peaks and lower troughs. So that's looking weak as well too, guys. Come on down if the price is right. So you're looking at the daily chart, this major drop down, major run up. I think this is, it's been going sideways for quite some time. Then broke down and it broke back up. I see this rolling over with the market as well too. Uh, this is the financial sector. Financial sector, again, weak. Uh, financial sector hasn't actually had much of an up move. Uh, and especially this this week, but you can see this had it's had this it's had this uh, had a little up move had a, oh man uh, had a, had a little up move where it is right now today. But again, it's creating this lower peak, so it's creating this lower low. We cre it went sideways here for two three months, and then we broke down, broken back up. We've got a whole bunch of error resistance where it is sorted of right now. So I'm expecting the financial sector to roll over and go down. What else have we got here? What's the real estate sector look like? Real estate sector looks really bullish. That's pretty crazy. Um, there's no lower peaks, there's no lower troughs, there's nothing like that. Uh, yeah, nada. Nada, so what do we see here? We see that the market is actually just continuing higher and breaking up. So that sector actually, that sector is obviously very bullish. I wouldn't be buying it right now, but it is very, very bullish. And you can see last time Nice, nice bullish upward trend. Got the stochastics come down through there. Beautiful entry signal in the way it goes and the way it's just been going now. So what about the consumer, the uh, the consumers, consumer defense? 
consumer defense what's going on there so um daily charts pretty sideways uh, you can see this actual weekly charts broken above there so the the defense consumer defense is very bullish uh health the health sector um it's not bearish yet but if we break if we start breaking below if we start breaking below say that 2000 level 2000 2200 level I, uh, yeah especially a weekly if we get a weekly close below 2250 then that's going to be a continuation of the downtrend we see we did get a lower trough so we'll just see whether that's going to continue that downtrend or not utilities wow look at the utilities just absolutely nuts um very bullish obviously that is crazy isn't it it's crazy and it feels look at that just crazy 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 isn't it yeah wow consumer cycles have just taken off uh what do we got here communications communications Uh, the daily chart looks quite weak overall. We've, we've broken down. If we, if but if we do start breaking above seven hundred, then that's going to completely change the trend of that. And then it looks like we probably maybe even want to try to race the new highs on the consumer there. Energy sector, energy sector looks actually quite strong right now. Short term looks like it's having a bit of a. Short term looks like it's 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 having a bit of a bit of a think again. If we hold here and break down, we're probably making new lows. Uh, but if we break above 1500 same as the other things uh what is this the industrial sector industrial sector is very weak double top on the daily chart got a lower trough here so lower trough on the daily chart um, this is the weekly chart daily chart lower trough looking very weak what else we've got technology sector technology mm, looking still quite weak as well too and that's it so there you go guys uh You've got, obviously you've got a couple of sectors in there which are looking really, really, really bullish. Really bullish, obviously, sector-wise. But the uh, financial markets, the financial sector, for me, is the one that's looking the weakest out of all of those for me. So everything, including from the weekly chart. So this is the, uh, this is the monthly chart. Major lower peaks, lower troughs. And as you can see, guys, as I've been saying for quite some time, if I bring up the clips, you can see this made this high made this low made this lower peak made this lower trough and look at it actually roll over there and you can see where did that roll over it rolled over around about that area of resistance somewhere through there as you can see that area there or that sort of area of resistance through there somewhere so and now it's starting to roll over so from the monthly chart to the to the weekly chart oh my goodness to the weekly chart, big double top, actually slightly lower low, broken down lower trough, weekly chart, and then you go down to the daily chart, and you can see it's made this major lower, lower trough after hitting there. So I'm expecting, even if we do get a little bit more upside in the financial sector, I think that's good, that'd be it. And it's, I tell you what, guys, you know, just, just by looking at all the different markets and looking at the sectors and stuff like that, I was checking out and I was looking at um, some things like the SPY, and the SPY and the QQQ, and I was looking at the SPY and I was looking at the QQ. The spy, yeah. I was looking at the spy, and I'm just like, man, this looks, this thing looks really, really, really weak, guys. Like, you know, it, it just looks really, really weak. You got this, got this lower trough through here, and this lower trough through here. It's just like, wow, that is so, so weak. And then I looked at the QQQs, and I'm looking at the QQQs again as well too. And I'm just thinking again, guys, like this is, you know, this is, uh, you know, really, really, really weak. So. Um, lower trough it's just so yeah guys i i really will be surprised if we break above and we start to break above say 110 here on this qqq uh or break above 112 on the qqq but really be really really surprised i don't think that's going to happen i think we're just going to start to roll over and we start to head back down so anyway there there we go guys a bit of a sector index and a bit of a bit of a another more more look at the spy and the qqq I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours 
of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.